Um, right, so when we say the civil defense, what exactly is it meant? Yeah, civil defense, it appears a militarization word that for the military. But people even call it civil protection. So it's the way the, the country or the nation protects its people from the vagaries of disasters and conflicts. Okay, and how, how important is civil defense to a country like Ghana, for yeah. instance? It's very, very important because disasters can just overnight derail all development that we have if we don't take care of incorporating disaster management measures. That's the uh, prevention and the mitigation measures into our development plans. And how many Ghanaians do you perceive know what civil defense is about? If you could break it down for us, because the whole, uh, you, I understand there are other branches or yeah. smaller branches that forms the whole civil defense. Can you break it down for us, please? Yeah, civil defense in Ghana, maybe um, a lot of people might not have heard mm, the name, yeah. because the celebration most of the time is on the quiet, you see. And uh, maybe what they have heard is the word disaster day which actually is the brilliant day by the DC UN. Yeah. And that one, we have a wider scope of uh, uh, dissemination. And, but the NADMO, as the, um, if, like you said, is that the ICDCU is a governmental. It's a governmental, it's not non-governmental, it's governmental. It's governmental. Yes, okay. and then in Ghana, the government organization that is responsible for disaster management is NADMO. Okay. That is the National Disaster Management Organization that is responsible for it. So this organization celebrates the World Disaster Day as well as the, uh, the Civil Defense Day, which is the first March of every year. But would you say that the celebration of the day really exists here, considering the population of yeah. Ghana? I asked you that question earlier, yes. and I want you to yes. tell it us. Yes, it exists. Actually, the, civil, the International Civil Defense uh, Organization mm. and then the Civil Defense Day started, the celebration started in 1990. Okay. But NATO joined the whole entire world in 1997. That's all the official time that we started celebrating the Civil Defense Day with the whole world. And from, from that time, we have been under various teams. Like this year, we have civil, civil defense and then uh, domestic accidents. Mm. And why did you choose that theme for the year's celebration? No, actually, we didn't choose it. This one is international. It was chosen by And why was it chosen? ICBC. Because it should really have, no, they have a civil defense yes. and domestic accidents. accidents. How significant is it? Yeah, you see, one thing is that when you talk about disasters, for disaster definition, it is in a wide scope where the people cannot even manage it themselves and they need assistance from outside. That is what we term as a disaster. And unfortunately in Ghana, a lot of our friends in the media, any accident that happens is termed as a disaster. But now this one realizes that we are talking about accidents. Accidents are a little bit different from a disaster. Now some of the few events that take care you know, take place in our own homes and, and our workplaces that are detrimental to the health of the person, to the community, and then even to the, uh, this is, the environment. It's termed as a, that one in the bigger scale, whereby the people cannot cope with it, it's termed as a disaster. So we are just looking at the incidents. That's the accidents that happen. Like in a room, if you have a CP4, then it slips. Okay. And your head is on a stone or something. Or somebody bathing in, in the bathroom. We had to have a bathroom. It doesn't put anything that can... So are you classifying it under disaster or accident? This one, the, the team is accident. Okay. Accidents, that one is in a small scale. A disaster in a bigger scale. Okay. Yeah. And which, you said you so only have domestic we, accidents. Yes. Now they want focus to be on the accidents. The small things that will happen in our homes that we most of the time neglect. You see, like somebody, the, uh, our friends who smoke, the smokers smoke in the night, and then some smoke in the bed. You shouldn't smoke in the bed, because if you fall asleep and then the butt of the cigarette gets into your bed, you'll be bent. Mm. So if I should understand you or get yeah. you right, does it mean Anadmo just focuses on disasters and not necessarily on accidents? We do. We cover everything. The accidents, it moves from what we call hazards. Hazards are phenomena that I will live with. Okay. That 
has not turned into uh, disasters yet. That's why it doesn't trigger disasters. But if you don't manage those hazards, you see, like for instance, we have a beautiful uh, this in lake, the largest man-made lake in the mm -hmm. world is Akusumbu. You see how uh, Pacific it is, and uh, where it is in Akusumbu area. Okay. It's there, it doesn't cause any harm. All right. But if something should happen and then the dam breaks, we cannot just imagine all the people down the street where they will be going. They will be carried straight into the sea. So then is the disaster. So following the theme, yes. what, what do you intend to do to reduce domestic accidents as your theme stands? Yeah, actually what you are doing is sensitizing the okay. people. Oh, right. You know, the, 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 the communities mm. and then everybody about the uh, first identification of this hazard that they are living with. You should know. 